Today we're going to fix this problem. That's crazy. Look at that. If I'm not wrong, this too. I, it's blinking here. Yeah, now it stopped. Okay, it came back. So now we can do like this. Check this out. We stop. Uh, I gotta figure it out like when this happens. Turn it off. Turn it on again. And ready to roll. So it's super annoying. It doesn't change anything in the truck. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, and I've heard my neighbor had a, a truck, different year, but same Dodge Ram, and he said he sold. It was happening the same thing, took to the dealership, traded in, and you know, got it over it. And uh, I heard people saying that the radio installation did it. Some of them saying the remote start and all that stuff. I think everything I have is factory. So um, I didn't think that was problem and I ended up uh, I gotta remember which video is that if I do I'm gonna uh, post the link on the description just because uh, of course they didn't diagnose my problem but they gave me a uh, lead, lead, lead. anyway uh, so this door here this doesn't work you open all the doors and this one doesn't open and it's like, dude, what's happening? So, I got into this boot in here and squeezed it. You can squeeze it and on top of here, everything was tight and I was like, oh, no good. So I knew there was some connection in there. But check this out. It's all crinked, stupid. And look at this here. This is cut halfway. This is cut all the way. This here, I don't even know where it goes. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in here. I'll figure it out. So, I guess this is my problem. Eventually, when the uh, truck jumps, uh, the wires end up touching each other or touching something and changes the voltage in a boom. Boom. So I don't know how I'm going to take this out of here, if I need to take the whole door to do a good job. Uh, but I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to reconstruct this here. And then we're going to see if this is going to fix the problem. Alright, so I'm going to close the door one notch. And then try to pull this out of here without breaking it. Oh, it is a plug which is gonna make my life so... Whoa, there's more! Whoa! Look at that! Jeez! Check these out, boys and girls. Well, in one side... Oops, sorry. It makes me happy because... You know, if I found this, it's uh, very probable that this is my problem so when I fix this truck will be fixed um, I just wonder if there's more inside so that's gonna be quite easy um, I'm gonna unplug it fix this part here and then I'm free to fix all of this um, not hanging there like not stuck with this space I have a little more space all right, so I cut one of them. It's gonna be too short. Um, I, I I want to have more space on the booth. If you see, um, I don't know, it could be all right. Or I can get wires. Um, I don't have lots of colors, but I can extend like this much. Uh, put some heat shrink 
So I'm going to get a thin hit shrink like this. Put it in there, you know, so it's going to be black inside the hit shrink anyway. So I can extend at least this much, which is going to give like a little bit more room in here. Um, I don't know why it got like that on the first place. But, you know, yeah, check this out. This is thicker, so I need to use a thicker gauge. Um, so the thicker ones, we need to use thicker wires. I don't know, Some it, this has been like this for a long time because it has like green, like battery acid thing. I don't know how that thing is called. I don't want to do anything fancy because I don't want to make this thick. And this is going to be my experiment. Worst case, I need to replace the whole thing anyway. So Just a little bit. And so now I got to get a heat shrink. Cut some of it. I'm going to put way back there because I don't want it to melt so I can just get this guy and then solder I'm gonna try to like this I don't know why I'm wearing gloves I think I'm so used to wear gloves there you go one was off so this should make a strong connection ideally if uh, junk from work if you're watching me right now I know you can make a good comment and uh, help people around but uh, I know usually you cut I'm putting the solder you cut them, splice, put them together, twist this two and then twist this two and then put them together. But that's going to be too thick. And I don't have that in here. So, yeah. So that's what we have. We got to work with what we have in here. So, second one, going to put them together. So I need to be sure that I don't have like any anything is spiking up or down because um, they are on the same line. That's the other problem. I'll tell you in a minute what that means. So I never seen this, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, if you put your finger like this, your finger shouldn't stop anywhere. And if it is stopping somewhere, no good, because that's gonna cut the uh, uh, heat shrink, and it's gonna one wire is gonna touch the other one. You don't want that either. So that okay. So this is soldered. All right, one down, which is this guy. So what I'm gonna do now, I could do one by one, but I don't have patience. So I'm gonna get this here and just shrink really quick with the torch, and that's it. Look at that. It's protected, it's tiny, tiny I mean, it's thin. Uh, it's not gonna use any more space than the original. So I'm gonna do that to all of those. And then we're gonna come back. So no pokey things this time. Go all the way. All the way. So it doesn't get burned. Doesn't melt as we doesn't shrink as we um, do that. And then gonna do this here. And boom. Look at that. 
Now we're going to solder the last one. There we go. Now we just wait for a minute or so. Ooh, kind of melted. Okay, just need to uh, file. A little thing in this side. Okay, you can feel it with your finger. Yeah, there you go. So Yeah, a lot of work. Lot man. So there you go. We have one here, one here. Booth is there. And I guess I need more gas in there. Um, so this is my work. This goes in here. Um, I guess I just need to uh, pull. And it touches there. Ideally, I need to take this all the way and put it in here because uh, and that was it so I need to do a couple more which are those two here um, it's getting dark I don't have much room so I gotta take this tape out of there see how they are and see if I can only solder um, yeah I'll need to take them out and put some uh, heat shrink then shove back in there uh, yeah, it's getting dark. Uh, I don't know if you can see the sky. There you go. Beep and the trouble is not going to the street. All right, man, go for it. Ooh, nice. We just learned that, so he's super excited. So. I'm gonna finish this, we're gonna run the truck together. Um, it is kinda uh, um, tricky because it wouldn't happen all the time and I couldn't figure like when it would happen, like when they accelerate or it would just happen. So uh, I guess just time is gonna tell us if this will help or not, but you know. Ask in the comment and I'll be glad to answer. It doesn't matter one year, three years, ten years from now. I'll tell you what happened. Um, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to fix it. Because this, those two here, I think there was the actual problem. Because they were touching uh, this part here. So it was messing up the ground. And I think that's why the cages were doing that thing. It's like, oh, my ground is screwed. My ground is screwed. All right. Car is running. Uh, gonna put this back in there. All right. So actually, the little booth is like that. So this little part here clicks in there, and the little booth gets stuck. And that's it. This is waterproof, nice and tight, and everything is working again. Truck is running. Uh, no codes, no noise, no nothing. Let's see. There you go. So, everything working normal. Uh, I guess hopefully uh, we won't see that problem again. And that's it for now. I'm pretty sure this is going to be so helpful for some people. Um, if you're having this problem, if you had the problem, make a comment down here um, and, you know, let people know what you've done. This is what I did, it worked, and I, actually I found a video talking about this and people asking, uh, hey, did you fix this, did you fix that, and the guy never answered, but uh, comments were saying that someone did this to fix 
uh, the doors to look at the booth on the doors and all that stuff and I got that door that wasn't working the uh, door lock and I thought well let me look at it and then I found all of that so lucky me I hope you have luck too too and um, don't forget to like subscribe again make make a bunch of comments um, you know the more coming to make the more videos I make we help people so I think that's why we're here for and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video look past my face see status I'm eating some McDonald's uh, 20 miles to go